Hello all. Before we begin the video, let's discuss Cloud Foundation. Cloud Foundation is the premier online training platform to help individuals and organizations gain knowledge and skills in the ever-growing cloud computing industry. Here in this video we will have an in-depth look into Salesforce FSL. Salesforce Field Service Lightning FSL, is a cloud-based customer service and field service management platform designed to help businesses streamline their operations, optimize scheduling, and track services delivered. It provides features such as automated scheduling, dispatch management, report generation, and remote access for mobile techs. It is designed to help businesses improve customer service and increase operational efficiency. The topics covered in this video are Field Service Dispatcher Console Global and in-day optimization Optimizations and Custom Actions Service Crews Maintenance Plan And finally do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and check out other videos related to the latest technologies on our Cloud Foundation channel. Contact us at India USA UK Sales at the rate cloudfoundation.com Let's get started. Okay, so let me then start from scratch. Uh, okay, so okay. So what is Field Service Lightning? As I have already um, said, it is a comprehensive view of service cloud, basically. So uh, it's, 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 it's uh, a Salesforce product that connects with the customers and it is workflows and products on a single platform which will deliver the exceptional on-site services. Means it is actually, um, uh, means, uh, 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 it, is, it, is, it is kind of a field technician works it means suppose if some 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 issue is uh somebody somebody if if, if you have if already you are a service cloud consultant you know that case is generated by a customer and based on the case priority from the customer desk people are picking up that case supporting picking up that case and working on that case itself so what is happening in field service based on the case priority or case severity few of the task will be generated, which is actually named as work order in field service lighting. And based on that work order, what is happening, that task will be assigned to specific resources. It's like you will create a, you, will, you can create an user and make that user as a service resource. That service resource will be working as a field technician and he will provide, he will go to that customer's place, customer's house, and then he will provide the on-site services. He's a field technician and it also had a mobile offline capability. He can accept the job which is assigned to him by a field service admin. I will come to that and that uh, specific job, he will accept it based on and the job which will be assigned to that specific service resource. It definitely match should match to his skills. Without skills, that job should not be assigned to a service resource randomly. It's not possible. It is not possible. If skill will match, if the territory will match, suppose that specific job, this uh, specific case is getting generated from a uh, uh, area, from an area of some area of Newark, and then what is happening? And that uh, that in that vicinity, that that service territory, that service resources will be found out, and based on their skill. Optimum skill of means it's a job is running in the back end. It is called optimizations. Based on that optimization job, it will picking at that actual appropriate service resource and assign that job into that service resource so that you can work on that uh, job and uh, give them uh, means satisfied services. So, like it is basically provides the customer support team uh, means, uh, means it, it is basically intelligently delegate uh, the work to a field service technicians. Everything is happened by a field service engines, which is actually managed by Salesforce in the back end. Mm -hmm. so, so it provides the customer support team a chance to intelligently delegate work to a field service technicians and monitor them constantly. And also field service lighting, it is enabling them to handle the customer records and data in the field from within the Salesforce. 
okay so but what will, what will happen means like uh, if if have is has some licensing requirements that's fine but definitely it is handling the customer records and data within the salesforce only so fsl give you the ability to bring together three important elements of a business who provide on field service means like uh, means it, it it will provide the customers product and workforce these three things it will actually bring together these three important elements of a business it is actually collaboratively providing the customer service or workforce management you can say so if i'll go to the next page uh, suppose this is the high level process like I, which i have just explained like i am a customer i'm facing an issue suppose in my house uh, some water leakage is happening in the pipe okay so what is happening so i'm just giving you an example or cable installations any kind of problem i am this cable related problem installation issue i am facing so what is happening being a customer i i have an issue and what i will do i will create a case on top of the service the salesforce platform i will just uh, in the application perspective i'm talking about which is explore which is leveraging the service cloud components like cases is will play the main role here so if i have an issue i'm creating a case when i'm creating a case based on the case severity and based on the case type then work order will be generated work order, work order will be generated now if the work order will be generated then what will happen i am a customer so definitely i should have if i am taking a on site services means field technician will come to my house i need to have my availability right which day suppose tomorrow he will come to my house so i should be free from suppose 9 am to uh, 1 pm so this time is my preferred time and in this preferred time that specific service resource or field technician will come into my house to give the services that resource should be available if these three things will match then he will come uh, that service resource will be uh, delegated to that um, uh, means uh, that uh, work orders means that that work order job he will be taking care of that job so salesforce means will service like thing giving you one functionality which is booking appointment so what can i do being a customer i can book the customer appointment i i can give i have the feasibility to give my choice that tomorrow or day after tomorrow or uh, next day i'll be available from this time to this time and i'll able to see this particular time frame any service resource or field technicians is available or not so this flexibility is the out of box functionality which field service is providing to you being a customer now what will happening now case is created work order has been generated resource service resource find found out means technicians found out now everything is fine now what will happen in the back end now there is a persona which is called dispatcher which is actually field service persona he is actually monitoring and managing all the jobs which is been assigned to that specific territory so now he will be dispatching that specific uh, means work order or jobs as of now i'm putting that I'm, i'm i'm taking the name as jobs basically this job is called as service appointment so dispatcher will dispatching that specific jobs to the service resource because service resource they themselves is not responsible to get that job somebody being an admin or being a dispatcher has to manage this services from the back end so he will just manage the jobs and he will just assign that job to a service resources now coming to that field technicians look at this see he they are the mobile user this is the beauty of field service like thing it has the offline capability so they can receive the work orders from the dispatcher and they can accept their jobs from the mobile itself okay so they can update the job progress like it is in progress i have i have because suppose i am a field technicians i have just reached to the location so i can click on that specific pro from the uh, progress means i can I, i can update my progress like i have reached that locations i have accepted the job and i have completed the job with the digital sign signature so docu sign is also you can use here but this is optional but uh, you can use here but here also you can act, you can capture the digital signature for being a service uh, in field technicians like this 
So this is the high level process of field service. So if I'll go to the next um, things, this is an object model. We can discuss this in the next sessions. So now coming to one thing, which is very important, like, okay. So this, uh, this specific, uh, okay, let me just go to that next one. Yeah, this one, uh, which I have just explained. This is the key players of field service like me. It's like um, administrators are there, agents and dispatchers are there, field service agents are there, and customers are there. Means administrator means field service admin. These four personas are the key player of field service likely. They will get the job assigned when get means how that, okay, let me come to that point. Means being a field service admin, what is the means role of field service administrator? So field service administrator, they can uh, configure all the settings of field service lighting, like um, what is the severity of the work order, which territory it is coming from, it is actually the emergency situation or not, which scheduling policy that needs to be assigned to that specific work order, it is emergency or based on that customer feed, feed means cus because suppose it is a repeated customer, based on that feedback that customer will be come, will come in first based on the scheduling policy like this, or it is any kind of um, uh, means disrupted area. So based on that field service admin, they will take some actions and they will just configure the field service settings. And the managed package which was installed in the system that also be upgraded or managed by the administrators only. This is the FSL admin. Sometimes FSL admin and dispatchers, they will play the same role. I mean, sometimes admin will also dispatch the service appointment to the service resources. So how can I do that? So I will just assign that same permission set to that, like FSL dispatcher to the admin, so that FSL admin can also do that same work. Okay, so a permission set, I'm coming to that point, but let me just explain the key are uh, players of FSL. Now I'm coming to that um, service agents, means the customer desk, means who will accept the case and based on the case, the work order will be, uh, work order will be gener generated. And if the work order will be generated, it will, it will have some subtask, that subtask will be associated with the work order like this. So that it's the work for service agents. Field service agents are the same thing that like field uh, service customers means field sorry field service technicians technicians work is the mainly important thing so what what they will do seven steps it, it contains seven steps get a job assigned collect the details required collect the parts or repair material required for the job finish the job and log it into the system then get a confirmations from the customer then get paid definitely and go back and update the job status. So these seven steps are field service like a uh, technician being a field service technician, they can do it. But the sixth point, uh, number, 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 point number six, which I have just mentioned, that get paid. So that is actually not the out of box feature which field service provides. This is a customized things. This functionally it is happening, but it is still is in progress. Field service like being totally not exposed to that payment request things, payment thing. How can we capture in the out of box field service like thing? It is not, it is still in progress. We need to customize those things. So, how does an office work? Then office agent work, these service agents. So, office agents, they can collect the work orders, as I have mentioned, they can assign the job. Then they can provide the required information like which customer it is, customer information from which address it is coming from, then time of availability to the technician, service service agent, whatever you can say. Then they can provide the parts or repair material required for the job. Then they can update the job status once completed. So this is the, this is the work for field service agent. So these are the four key players or four personas we need to handle while we are developing an application since field service life. Now coming to the important thing, what is the capabilities to help service agent or dispatcher? Means basically it is very important they are tracking that status, locations and inventory. 
and one info important thing which is called service report they, that they can generate the service report the service agent people they can generate the service reports which will help to provide a better status to the customer and management that responsibility they can take so this is the overall uh, official thing i can take now coming into the optimization thing which is a very very important thing in official optimization means suppose i uh, i am a service resource sorry i am a dispatcher or i am an official admin in my service territory which i am handling so i have 50 service resources associated with it so one job is getting created one case is created based on that case one work order has been generated and one work order has been generated then being a field service like me i'm confused that out of 50 service resources how will i filter that like which service resource is actually appropriate to get that work order to be assigned and they can provide the services so definitely i need to pick up so this filtering happening in the optimization engine which salesforce actually yeah, develop and it is a part of managed package. Optimizations will help you to make this service resource ranking or category categorizations like this specific service appointment. It's better to have this service resource will get that service appointment. So, what was the parameters to get this rankings happen? To this rankings happen that skill of that service resource, which territory he is coming from his previous feedback which customers gave uh, gave to them and then this uh, means uh, means SLR means street level routing thing and if it is near to the customer locations from where the case is created so all those four parameters that will be actually calculated in the back end based on the optimizations engine and based on that, that service appointment is getting associated with the service resource. We do not need to have to do anything, just being a field service admin. We need to go to the field service settings. And from that field service settings, we need to just enable that optimization job, which will run or which will be executed in the backend in daily basis. It's a scheduled job. It will pick up all the service appointments and then start it doing the rankings. It will pick it will pick up the optimum service resource so this is the significance of optimization job also yeah so what i'm planning uh, uh, like uh, from tomorrow onwards the sessions which i'll be taking so i will create means uh, okay you will create a day work and you will install the managed package, enable the full service lighting, and from the scratch, we will do the scenarios.